Hi, welcome to another video in the Make the Cut Projects tutorial series. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to take a cutting file and turn it into a shape that can be used for a greeting card. So I'm going to start with this rocket file and if I come over here to the layer properties box just going to scroll down to the bottom and you'll see right at the bottom of all of the layers there's one called rocket base and what that is is basically the outline of the rocket that once I cut all the rocket pieces out they all get layered on top of. So I'm going to start by just turning off the visibility of all of the other layers and to do that I just click on the little eye icon on each layer and that turns it off and you can see over here on the mat as I'm turning off the layers they just sort of ghost out and so you can tell they're actually turned off. Okay so now I've got all the layers turned off except for my base. So I'm just going to click on that base layer to make sure that that layer is active and then I'm going to come over here and click right on the shape to select it and you can tell that it's selected because it's outlined in red. Now I'm going to right click and click on copy and I'm going to make two copies of this. So I'm going to click on paste in place and what that does is gives me another exact copy right over top of the first one. So I can grab that and move it aside. I'm going to do the same thing again. Right click, paste in place, so now I have three copies of the rocket base. So what I'm going to do now is just zoom out a little bit on my mat and I'll just pull these over to the side so I can work with them. So first of all I'm going to make this rocket so that it opens at the top. So right up here at the, the tip. So what I need to do is flip one of my bases around so that the two tips are facing each other. So I've got one of them selected and I'm going to come down here to flip, click on that and now you can see that it's actually just flipped it right upside down. Next thing I need to do is make sure that these are lined up perfectly in the center. So I'm going to click on the first one, hold down shift and click on the second one and that selects them both. And then I'm going to right click and come down to Align and Space, over to Align, and then Vertical Center. And you can see that they just shifted so that they're perfectly lined up on a vertical line. Next, I'm going to actually overlap them. So I'm going to take the first one and select it. And now I'm just going to use the arrow keys on my keypad. So I'm just pushing the down arrow, and you can see that the rocket is starting to move down. Now this is actually where the crease of the card is going to be. So right here at the center where the two rocket pieces overlap, that's going to form the top of the card. Okay, so I'm going to leave it right about there. So the final step is just to select both of these pieces, again by holding down the shift key, selecting them both, and then I'm going to come down here to weld, click on that once, and now you can see that those two rocket pieces have become one piece so that will all cut out. You've got some very clear definition there where the card should be folded in half and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so that you can see that a bit closer. So right there where the two pieces come in and meet that's where your card is going to be creased and then the rest of your rocket pieces get layered on top and then of course you can stamp or write your sentiment on the inside. Now I'm also going to show you how to do this starting with a different type of file. So I have this happy birthday word art. Now you can see just by looking at it that this by itself is not going to make a very good card because there's all this space in between that's not going to join up well. So I'm just going to select the whole thing and I did that just by clicking and dragging a bounding box right around the whole image. I'll just move that down a little bit. So for an image like this, if you want to create a card out of it, the first thing we need to do is give it a nice solid background. So I'm going to come down here to the shadow layer right at the bottom. And that's the black layer that you can see here. So first of all, I'm going to start just by duplicating that so I can work just with that. So I'll right click 
and click copy, right click, and paste in place. So now I've got two copies of that shadow layer so I can drag one of them and move it up here and that's what I'll work with. So I'm just going to select all of this and move it right out of the way. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is actually create a larger shadow layer on this that will give us the base for the card. So I'm going to right click, come down to Shape Magic, and then down to Shadow Layer. And then it'll come up with the Generate Shadow Layer dialog box. Now down here in the lower left corner is this slider bar called Shadow Width. And by sliding that to the right, you can see that the shadow actually becomes larger. And what this is doing is creating another layer. And this light green that you see is the layer that's being created. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that all the way over to the right so that I've got a nice thick shape. It's almost filled in. There's a few spots there that aren't quite filled in, but we'll fix that. So that looks pretty good right there. I'm going to click on Accept. Okay, so now I've got my shadow layer. Now, where the original words were, that layer I don't need anymore. So I'm just going to move it right out of the way. And now I'm going to zoom in on the shadow layer to finish off the card base. So first of all, what I want to do is fill in all of these little spaces because I want my card base to be one solid piece. So I'm just going to grab a couple of basic shapes. So I'm just going to click on the gear, come down to From Basic Shapes, and select a circle. So I'll double click on that and click X. Now I just need to zoom out to see where my circle went and there it is over there. So I'll drag it over here to the area that I'm working in. So now I'm just going to drag it right over top of one of those little holes. I'll zoom back in again. And I'm going to drag my circle shape out I just need to be careful that I don't go outside of the shape of the word art. So by doing that I can cover up three of the four little holes. So I'm going to merge that. So I'll select the what's now the oval and the outside. Come down and click on weld. So now those are all one shape and now I just need to fill in this last little piece here. So I'm going to grab another circle from basic shapes there it is there. Bring it down to cover up that little hole. Shift to select both of them and weld again. And now I've got half of my card base. So now I'm going to follow the same steps. I'm going to right click, copy, right click and paste in place. So now I have the two pieces that form the card base. And I'm just going to zoom back out a little bit here. Move this one down. Now again I need to flip this upside down. So with it selected I'm just going to come down here to flip and now it's upside down and then again I need to line these up vertically. So hold down the shift and select both pieces. Right click, align in space, align and then vertical center. And you saw them shift just slightly. And now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to move this down so that it's overlapping a little bit. And you just kind of have to choose an overlap that makes sense for the shape that you're working with. So something right about there should work and I can tell by this little indent here where the crease of my card is going to be when I cut it out and fold it. So I've got that selected. I'm going to hold down shift and select the second piece, weld them together, and there's my card base. And then what I'll do is just cut out the happy birthday word art from whatever paper I choose and attach it to the front of the card for a finished card.